Welcome to the AirSail Softwall Assembly video. The following video is intended as a visual guide to assist you with assembling the softwall enclosure. The overall assembly is very quick following our installation techniques. The AirSail Softwall Enclosure consists of five basic framing components. 1. Corner Verticals 2. Perimeter Framing 3. Joists 4. Corner Braces 5. Ceiling Cross Tees and 6. Wall Angles Order of Assembly Step 1. Start by attaching the shortest ceiling perimeter framing member to the corner vertical. Make sure top of perimeter framing is flush with the top of corner vertical and lock in place. Do not over tighten locks. You can now stand the first wall section. Step 2. Continue perimeter framing. Lock one end of the long perimeter framing member into the top end of a corner vertical. You can now lock the free end of the perimeter into the opposing wall corner vertical. Continue installing framing until perimeter is complete. Take the wall angle extrusion. Note the notched edge. Install the notched edge into the corner, then retain in place using a 1 quarter inch foam rod. This can be installed using your finger, sliding it into the groove. A tool will also be supplied to assist with this. Install a notched corner piece into the opposing corner. Now take joist extrusion and lock into place flush against the end of the wall angle, using the angle as a spacing guide. Check final placement with a tape measure and make any necessary small adjustments. Now you're ready to install your short wall angle extrusion pieces. Working out from the perimeter corner, install both opposing angles to show cross T location. Install cross T by sliding lock over into groove. Cross T's are designed with a slotted lock opening to make installation removal of T's easy and clean. Continue installing cross T's by first installing two foot wall angle extrusion. Make sure to always install a quarter inch foam rod after each wall angle extrusion is installed. After these pieces are installed, you can put the next cross tee in place, flushing the side of the cross tee with the wall angle extrusion. Complete each row until sealing is complete. Note on a 2 foot by 4 foot fan powered HEPA filter that the metal casing is the only place you can touch the filter without damaging the media. The media or filter area is very delicate and can be damaged if the HEPA unit is handled roughly. With another person, carefully lift the HEPA through the grid location. Rest filter on the framing. Carefully turn the HEPA 90 degrees and install in grid, making sure not to touch or damage the filter face. If filter gets caught at an angle, Carefully hold the filter by the sides and lower into place. Install lights and ceiling panels in a manner similar to HEPA filters. Always use caution when handling the fixtures. Air cell soft wall curtains are designed to easily install into our framing profile. Simply drop the hook located on the top of each curtain section into the profile groove and install PVC rod with your hand or supplied rolling tool. Air cell soft walls are designed to be easily relocated or reconfigured as well as affordable with our easy to assemble framing, most soft walls can be operational same day. Please visit our website at www.aircell.com 
for further information or contact us with any questions you might have about our products or services.